Hello, hello, hello! Happy Wednesday! Welcome to Recipe of the Day! And we have a yummy summer recipe on deck for you today. So we are excited that you are here and we are going to be making gazpacho today. Gazpacho and then we are going to be making um, gourmet grilled cheeses to go with our gazpacho. So an easy, quick, and yummy summer lunch or dinner um, or brunch. And here we go, let's get started. I will pull you guys up here and get my technology up and running. Yes, I will. So how is everyone today on this beautiful summer Wednesday? Hey, Jill, how are you? We are making gazpacho today. So I have prepped all our things. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is just tell, show you guys all the things here. So I have in the bowl here, I have peeled and semi-seeded. I didn't get too crazy about the seeding of the t tomatoes because I don't mind them. Um, tomatoes, about two pounds. Um, I was at the farmer's market this morning and um, talking to the tomato man about what the best tomatoes were, so he picked these. I also roasted, he suggested, this Anaheim chili. I roasted on the open flame and peeled it and chopped it. So this is one Anaheim chili roasted and peeled and chopped. And then in this bowl here, I have half of a red pepper. They were beautiful. Look at this pepper. Oh my gosh, at the farmer's market this morning, they were so beautiful. So I um, have a half of one in here chopped. And then of course I have a jalapeno um, chopped up and seeded and ready to go here. And then the cucumber, I have the English cucumbers. Uh, These are actually Persian cucumbers. And I um, just peeled them a little bit. I didn't get too crazy about peeling them, but peeled them, you know, somewhat. And then seeded them. So I just show you, I was going to show you how I did that here. So I left one, like you see, I peeled it a little bit of this Persian one. And then I took the spoon here and just um, seeded it just like that with a spoon. Easy to do. And then that's our um, cucumber. Oh, Jill, how was yours? What's your secret? Do you have a secret to gazpacho? Let's see what's put it in here. Hey, Sandy, how are you? Danae, how are you? Hey, Sandy, how's the mood going? I don't know if we're going to get there or not this year, but I want to. Okay, so those are all our things here. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to put in, I'm doing it in a blender because a blender works better than a food proce processor. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> and so I'm going to put the cucumbers in and then I'm going to see how gently and neatly I can get these tomatoes in. Whoa! And I will show you how I peeled that tomato here in a second. So I'm going to run out of room, but I'll push it down. So we have our Anaheim chili going in. And then I have the red pepper. Hey Florence and Patty, we're making gazpacho. We'll see what fits in the in the in the blender. <laughs> Just gonna shove it in there. Um, maybe I have to do it in two batches. Oh, awesome! Sandy sold her house in one day. Woo! Realtor loves to hear that. Good job, girl. Hey Mary Chris, how are you? Um, we're making gazpacho, so I think I better give this a spin to make to make some room here for the rest of my things. So this is V8 because, yeah, you know, darn it, I should have had a V8. If you're old enough, you know what that is. I bought the spicy V8 because that's what we like around here. So, oh, try not to make a total mess, but I'm making one. So I'm going to put, that's all that's going to fit for that. That's about one cup. I can see we might have to be doing this in batches. But I'm going to give it a whirl here, so hold on, plug your ears. Woo! And that's kind of it. But in here, I still have to add my, uh, my, uh, my onions, so I'm going to have to do them in a batch. But before I take it out of the main one, I have in here about two cloves of garlic, and maybe two teaspoons of fresh thyme. I'm going to put that in. Oh my gosh, smells like gazpacho. Smells yummy! If anyone doesn't know what gazpacho is, it's a cold tomato soup. So that is what I'm making. I have this fancy, fancy olive oil from Via Vi in Montecito the other day. I was up there for a birthday party. So I'm going to put a couple dabs of olive 
oil in there. So this is fresh imported from Italy, fancy, so I thought I'd use the fancy stuff, not the kind you cook. A couple shakes here of red pepper flakes. I'm going to put just a pinch, because the V8 has a lot of salt, I'm going to put just a pinch of some Lowry seasoned salt. Hey Susan, how are you? And then of course my favorite, you know, I love this um, seasoned pepper, Lowry's, love it. Um, so that is one. I'm going to put a couple of onions in here. So I have about a third of a white onion, and then I have one um, green onion chopped here. So I'll just see what fits, what fits in the blender, because I don't want to be wearing it. <laughs> so we'll see ah, if that's going to work or not, because I still have some lemon juice to put in. our gazpacho. I'm going to put it in here so you can see how pretty it is. Uh-oh, hold on. Get something to transport it in. If I leave it in there too long, 
So the peel, it's already, oh shoot. It's already starting to peel off. I just flipped it over for a second. My water has evaporated from when I did the rest of these a minute ago. So the other way, the tomato guy told me today at the farmer's market, by the way, so I've had a couple people at, at, ask me that are local. We have farmer's market in Ventura um, on Wednesdays at the mall and on Saturdays downtown. So we actually have two per week, which is awesome. We are so lucky to live in such an awesome place with the fields right around us, the ocean and the fields. Okay, do you guys see, of course it's hot because I just took it out of boiling water, but the skin is already peeling off. So like it just easily comes right off then and you don't have to fool with it. But the tomato guy told me today, because farmer's market is easy, like look at that, just comes right off and boom, tomato peeled. Um, I let it cool for a couple minutes if you're doing this at home, but I'm doing it live, so it comes right off. And then I just cut it up and seed and seeded them a little bit, and um, you know, ready to go. Uh, but anyway, the farmer's market guy said, and get back to my train of thought here, that you could turn on your grill and turn on your barbecue grill and put the tomatoes on there for a second. He goes, the minute the tomatoes hit a hot grill, the peels just go boop. I'm like, oh, really? So that would work too. But I have not tried that. But I have done this way. Um, this is also how you can peel peaches and peel all kinds of things um, if you need to blanch them first. That's how you do it. So it's simple and easy, and the peels come right off. So um, it's the easiest way to, to do it. Okay, so now to my grilled cheese. Oh my gosh, look at this. Hold, hold on a second. I got tomato on my board here, and I don't want to get it on my beautiful. Look at this loaf of sourdough. I mean, seriously, you guys. Fresh out of the oven. They sliced it for me fresh because I mean, if you're going to eat bread, make it the best. And this sourdough made it this morning. I mean, yum. So I have my pieces here and I'm going to put some butter on my bread. And oh my gosh, we, I have watched so many, 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 who else watches all the diners, drive-ins and dives and makes them, watches them make all kinds of grilled cheese yumminess. So I'm going to put the butter there. It's actually going to be on the outside. And then I'm going to take a little bit of olive tapenade, just because I have it and it's delicious. And it goes yummy with our tomatoes, with our gazpacho. I'm going to put a little olive tapenade on this side. Oh my gosh, smells so good. We haven't eaten all day. I've been running around today getting a new listing ready for the market. So I was in and out of Lowe's three times and met the photographer there and you know it's always uh, something. And just public service announcement, Lowe's is out of shower rings that hold a shower curtain. Um, they are very difficult to find right now. So, but have no fear, I found them somewhere else. So I have shower rings. So it's totally cute. Photography's done and it is going to be a good one. Okay, so on my little plate here, remember, I always grate my own cheese, always, 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 because the stuff that's pre-grated or sliced, it has that coating stuff on there, so it doesn't melt that well. So I have grated my own, and I have three kinds of cheese for today. We have Jack and Swiss and extra sharp cheddar. So I'm going to put that on here. I'm going to put it on my top and odd. So some Jack and some Swiss. Oh my gosh. So anyway, Gary and I have not eaten today, so we are starving. So I'm like, well, you're going to be getting a grilled cheese and some gazpacho here in a few minutes. Yeah, I've seen that with the, with the mayonnaise. Uh, I'm not a huge mayonnaise lover, but I'm sure um, it works too to put it on the outside of the bread. I was going to put a little cheese on the outside of the bread so you get a little crispy crunch. Yeah, see, same here. I mean, I don't dislike mayonnaise necessarily, but I don't love it. Um, so I think that's enough cheese. What do you think? Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Yum! So I'll put my cheese down here, and I'm going to put my bread on top like this. Oh my gosh, this is going to be yummy. There's probably enough for both of us, this one sandwich. Okay, so in my pan here, I've got the pan. I can turn my water off there. We're done with the water. And I'm going to need a flipper. Hold on. I need something to flip this with. Uh, where am I? There we go. I just had a blue one in my hand, but here we'll use the fish flipper. And we're going to put this baby in. I'm going to put a little butter in the pan just to be sure it doesn't stick. 
most of those, just because you guys are watching me, can't have enough butter when you guys are watching me, right? So in goes our grilled cheese. Ooh, baby, yum. So I've got our grilled cheese in there. I like to cover it so the bread doesn't get too brown uh, when you're trying to melt the cheese but not burn your toast. So I've got that going there. And then we have, voila, we have grilled cheese and our gazpacho. So you know, I'm gonna probably blend real quick while we're waiting for our sandwich. Uh, oh, I know, like my sister says, yeah, mayo has way too many points, or Weight Watchers, way too many calories. But I will blend this other tomato and show you guys how I seeded it real quick. Um, Cause I didn't all fit in my first batch. So I'm just gonna peel this baby off. So see the skin comes right off. And then I'm just gonna cut it up and throw it in there. And I'll put the rest of these onions in there. And then we'll have grilled cheese here in a minute. So, yum. So yes. How is everyone doing today? Can you believe that July is almost over? Which I can't believe it, but it is. Come, uh, coming, school's supposed to start on the 12th of August. We shall see <laughs> what happens there. See, I'm not super, I don't really care about the seeds. They don't bother me. But I'm sure if they, if you want to totally seed them, you can do this more professionally than I am doing it. Just getting the, getting it out here. A few of the seeds, just with my thumb. I can take the seeds out here with my thumb and then cut it here into pieces. Throw it in your blender. Those of you guys that have fancy ones, like your Vita mix, mixes, will whip this up in a second. And I guess Vita, Vitamix 2 will make it hot. It'll make like tomato soup for you in a second. So I don't know. I don't have a fancy one. I have my, I don't know. My sister was just here. How old did we decide this, this blender was? Like 30 years? And still kicking. So I'm going to put the rest of my onion in here because I'm going to throw it in the big pool. Put a little bit of our V8 in here. And I will blend this up. Oh, yum. So there we go with our last tomato and our onions and the V8. And I'm going to throw it in here with the rest of our gazpacho. So then, at least we have a lot of our onion in there for our flavor. Okay, and I hear this thing popping, so let me check our sandwich. Oh my goodness. Yummy. Woo, you hear it pop, popping. It's popping. Smells delicious. Let me get a plate to show you guys that on. And we will have a quick and easy grilled cheese gazpacho here. I'll move this out of, out of the way again. How are my Instagrammers? Hey, Instagrammers. That Aaron. I think it's Aaron. How are you, girl? And if I want me to see you, you have to comment so I know what's going on. And then I can comment back. So I will um, write up this, re this recipe because I just made it up while I was making it for you. So I will write it up and recipes are always, I'll put them down here in the comments on Facebook or you can also find them on our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate. They're there too and you'll see the cute um, edited fancy version of these videos um, versus the live that Gary makes them so cute. So you can go find the recipes there too. Um, and if you would subscribe, that'd be awesome because we're almost to a thousand subscribers on our YouTube channel and that would be awesome if we could get to a thousand. So go to our Ventura Real Estate channel on YouTube and hit subscribe and uh, we will get there to a thousand. And you can see all our, this is episode today, 61 episodes. Oh, the recipe, yeah, I'll, I'll post it. Because um, I never quite know sometimes what I'm going to put in it till I'm doing it. <laughs> like the peach didn't make it in it today, but um, like I said, there's always variations. So I will do, I think I'll do a birthday shout out because I have a special one today. Let me check my sandwich. Oh my goodness, you guys. This smells like heaven. And part of the secret to a really good grilled cheese is really, really good bread. I mean, that's kind of, it's the base of the sandwich and it has to be the best. 
So our birthday shout out today, let me uh, grab my birthday shout out hat. Birthday shout out today to Tamara Rossi Molina. She is our home warranty rep. If you're looking for a home warranty, she's our girl. We worked with her for like almost 20 years and she's so nice and awesome. So happy birthday to you, Tamara. And I hope you are not working today um, and you are taking the day for yourself. So happy birthday to you, dear. And then I have an extra special birthday shout out for tomorrow to my dear friend and neighbor, Heather. It is her birthday tomorrow and we celebrated in style in Montecito on Saturday. So we have celebrated, and but her actual birthday is tomorrow and we love you so much. So happy birthday to Heather too. So there we go. Let me check on my sandwich because I can't wait to show you guys my creation here with the olive tapenade. Yum! I'm sure my sister would be loving this one too. Hey, Julia, how are you? Okay, oh my goodness. This, wah, let's not drop it. Smells delicious. And I'm gonna cut this like your mom did, straight down the side, and oh my gosh, look at this. Wah! Oh, I was gonna put some cheese on the outside. If you like some crispy cheese on the outside, like those Parmesan crisps, you could have put some cheese on the top when you flip it. It'll put a little crispy crust on there, but I got sidetracked. Peeling my tomato, but there is our yummy grilled cheese olive tapenade, and I'm going to put a little gazpacho in our bowl. Oh my goodness. It's yummy. Try not to make a mess of that. Ah! And there's the gazpacho in there. Oh my gosh. Yum! And then you could garnish that with um, avocado or green onion or a little Parmesan cheese, shavings, um, a little thyme, I put fresh thyme in there, a little jalapeno, a little lemon zest, I mean kind of whatever is in the dish is always fair game for your garnish. So you garnish that up a little bit, uh, maybe a little drizzle of olive oil on the top because I have this really yum yummy fancy oil. I'm going to give it a little drizzle on top. Restaurant's got nothing on me, babe. So this is my gazpacho and grilled cheese lunch. So today, in honor of National Hot Dog Day, I have a very special giveaway for today. If you have liked or commented on these videos on um, Facebook, you are in the pool. So my special giveaway today, I'm so excited because it is National Hot Dog Day, is do, 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 do. I think these are as seen on TV. These are Piggy Pop. These are little silicone um, baking pans that make little piggies in a blanket. So you can put your little hot dog in here and then pour your batter on top and you make your own pigs in a blanket in honor of National Hot Dog Day. It is Piggy's Pop silicone baking pans. And on the back it says, look, you can also make jello shots, you can make brownies, pizza pockets, so you don't have to use hot dogs. But I just thought these were so cute and I knew you guys would love them too. So Piggies, who's going to be my winner of the Piggy Piggy silicone baking pans? I hope someone with, li with little kids, even though my big kid would probably love to make these. <laughs> hot dogs are a big hit around here. Oh my gosh, hey Tammy, how are you? Hey you guys, if you're local in Ventura, Tammy is involved, her kids are involved in 4-H and they are having, because the fair is canceled, they're having the auction for the um, animal auction. I think it's online. Tammy, I don't know, Tammy put the link here so everyone can see, um, so you can get involved and help support the kids that do 4-H every year, they're the best, um, and get yourself involved and donate. Um, you don't have to necessarily buy an animal. I saw that you could just donate too. So, um, here we go. Our winner is, who loves corn dogs, is Dan Murphy. Dan Murphy, you're the winner today. You can make yourself some corn dogs. Maybe you can think of something more creative, something cool you can share with us that you made with your piggy uh, baking pans. <laughs> Okay, and our second winner is Pam Faulkner. You are the winner, Piggy Baking Pans. So thank you guys for watching. I love it. It's so much fun. This has been a great 
um, fun thing. I get to see all you guys, and I love it when you're watching live so I can talk to you too. So remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude, and always do your best and always pick a good attitude, and we will look forward to seeing you. We are here live Wednesdays and Saturdays, and if you have any things you'd like us to make, um, please send me your suggestions. I'm always happy to make something new or make one of your family favorites. So visit us at our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate, um, our website, GaryLisa.com, um, and don't forget to like and, co and comment. So thanks for watching, and we will see you soon.